tailored websites, SMS messages, even mobile apps. Every channel seems to get more tailored to our wants and needs every day. But when you compare these with the level of personalization present in email, there's a noticeable gap. The email still packs a punch when it comes to engagement and revenue for brands. But the experiences on this channel just aren't as exciting as what customers have come to expect from channels elsewhere. But why is that? Well, email service providers are really good at organizing contacts, email marketing, marketing automation, and transactional emails. You know, the things you'd traditionally associate with sending email campaigns. But they lack the necessary out-of-the-box personalization capabilities that are required for deeply tailored experiences. Now, marketers have tried to hack the situation, but those results always end up being too generic and implementation takes longer than it's worth. So in response, ESPs have stepped up their personalization features. But the truth is they're still not quite on par with the advanced capabilities of a dedicated personalization solution. The good news, rather than wait for them to catch up, teams can and should integrate these technologies with their email service providers. Now, you might be thinking, any form of personalization is good for my brand experience, thank you very much. And while that's not entirely untrue, it doesn't mean that you're not leaving a ton of revenue growth on the table or that you aren't alienating your mailing list with irrelevant email sends. So it's time to face the music and consider these four signs that it's time to move beyond your ESP's personalization functionality. Sign number one, you're only able to include entry-level personalization within emails. Now, sure, you might be able to tailor emails using contextual and behavior data, but I bet this includes basic CRM data and broad audience segmentation, right? Thought so. Real personalization, which requires connecting your ESP to a specialized personalization solution, incorporates dynamic content and banners that reflect a customer's real-time affinity profile. Their affinity profile is made up of their recent behavior, their preferences, their intent, and their loyalty data across all connected channels. Further, it means that multiple recommendation algorithms, think about things like recently viewed, recommended for you, top rated, and so forth, could be implemented within a single email with the ability to automatically dedupe items that appear more than once in an email. Check out what this looked like for the warehouse group. They served 40 plus personalized content modules across three brands in a single email send. That campaign generated a 14% uplift in click-through rate and saved their team 28 hours in operational costs per week. I bet you're already considering a move beyond your ESP's personalization functionality. On to sign number two. You're personalizing emails at send time instead of open time. Did you even know that an email could be personalized after it was sent upon being opened by the recipient? Well, technology is advanced enough that you could send an email on Friday and still deliver content based on the recipient's most up-to-date preferences, behaviors, and intent from over the weekend. No, this isn't a case of Schrodinger's email. It's just the capabilities of the right personalization solution combined with your ESP. Okay, sign number three, you're missing out on advanced behavioral triggers. Well, you could probably send automated emails when a recipient makes a purchase, engages with an email, or is added to a list or a segment. Your current ESP's email personalization capabilities probably end right there. But what if you could send emails based on whatever user interactions you deem important enough for your business? Things like viewing certain pages, clicking certain CTAs, leaving the site, or even a product dropping in price. That's right, an advanced personalization solution can trigger emails based off events like this, or support any custom event desired. And finally, if you need another sign, here's number four. You're unable to create consistency across email and all your other channels. While ESPs can incorporate transaction, email, CRM, and in some cases, site data to either deliver basic emails or create targeted lists from which to send more tailored email promotions, the harsh reality is that this is often done in a vacuum. The personalization described isn't informed by real-time data collected from across channels or influenced by subsequent experiences on those channels. And both are required to create the consistent and cohesive journey that consumers have come to expect. So what can you do? Connect your ESP to a dedicated personalization solution that will let you supercharge your email campaigns with content tailored to the individual based on their real-time preferences, interactions, behavior, and intent from across channels. So there you have it. Four signs that you've outgrown your ESP's personalization functionality. You wanna learn more? You can check out the full article on Dynamic Yield's XP Squared Learning Center, as well as some additional resources about amplifying your ESP's effectiveness with personalization through the link below. Until next time.